Welcome again and today I'm going to show you demonstration of a new version of electronic boarding system and this is again in a Spring Boot and Hibernate and uh, for the front end it's using JSP HTML and um, like here under the backup section with the resources web INF resources we have a JSP files over there and it's using Maven as a dependency tool and build tool so I'm going to run the application and let's see the features and functionality how the things are working over there so in, I'm going to run it uh, in order to run the application just uh, you need to run this application file this is a spring boot starter so just right click on it go to run as run it as a java application uh, when you see the server will start in a while and after that you have to open the your application or property file over here we have created here one our demonstration like dummy url uh, for you if in case you want to change any port number um, so you can update it in the url as well once you have seen this message tomcat is started on the port number 8081 and then just open your browser and i'm going to close my existing tabs and here I'll just ignore this okay here i'm going to put um, <coughs> enter my url so when i hit the url it will launch the application and over the home page we have a sign in and sign up option so uh, let's uh, check how what are the rules we are uh, using in this application so if you are a new user uh, you can register as a user admin officer and voter okay a user can be a voter or admin and the e electronic officer will be a third role okay so i'm going to register as a voter uh, so I, let's say new voter uh, vote something and i'm going to give it a name uh, this will require data of year so let's enter the date of year some from some old days okay select gender and uh, i'm going to enter a new at the red gmail.com new boat okay um, so i'm just using a random data you can use meaningful data while you're using this application and then is it phone number and I'm selecting a profile as a booter so I just registered it successfully now I can move it to the login page now if I view my database and you will see the new record is inserted into the database for this application which is called EVS and here uh, under the user table we have this record so we already have an admin and officer so I just added this new user now let's log in as an admin and check what admin can do after that we'll move to the e-officer and the voter section so when i log in as an admin so i just enter this username and the password first thing admin can add the like manage the users so we can register the user from here we can check the list of registered user over there we can do filter out like search uh, by um, by name so if i want to search my new voter over here so i can search it by this and they said if i want to edit it i can edit it by clicking on this this button and if i want to update or delete it i can delete it another option as a module we have a party so as an admin i can add a new party so let's say i add a new party so new party that's it i need a image logo over here so you can add any jpg or png image over there for a testing purpose i'm going to add this or this yeah this will be okay so I just said this and when I go party list now I can see the newly added uh, uh, party here this is will, this will be with the party logo um, I'm not using uh, the real time data the real data because I can't use for the demonstration purpose if you are working on your project and you can use it uh, you can use it I'm using my image and my content so if you want to edit it you can click by this logo uh, that uh, icon to edit it and delete to delete to delete this box after that we have a candidate so i can candidate section so admin can add a new candidate so let's suppose i'm going to add a new candidate so i can add a new candidate so i'm just entering uh, again entering the dummy data and uh, when we entering or adding a candidate we have to assign a party from here so from which party this candidate is coming so i'm going to give it a, a new party that we have recently added so i just added it now the candidate list will be display over here to the admin with the edit and delete option right under the election section uh, the admin can add a new election let's suppose i'm going to say this is my new election okay and this can be held on 23 okay it's reach on 29 when i fill up the dummy data so now it's july 
Okay, I'm going to keep it on uh, 8th of July and click on it. So election added successfully. Now the election will be displayed over here. Apart from the election list, there are multiple things like uh, the admin can have access to edit and delete the elections and admin also can the view candidate that is available with this election. So when I click on this view, so I can check the candidate list for this election and like who's can who are the candidate that is going to attend this candidate this election and other thing um, we can view the results so admin can also view the result but the user can do we'll see this option in a while after that we have a border application so in case if user going to apply for any application or border application uh, with their cards or uh, did with, with some details the retail will be displayed over here from here i can generate a voter id for that user and after that the voter can vote over there also uh, this will be accessible for the officers so i just uh, so also we have a my profile option where from where we can update the data change password and all the menu and the common things so when i hit the logout button and now i'm going to uh, at another browser I'm going to log in on my private web window. I'm going to log in as a user, as a voter, and here I'm going to log in as an officer so I can give you a real time example how the things will look like. So, here I'm going to log in by this e officer. Okay, this is the existing e officer over there. If you want to register as a new, you can register. The option is there. And when I hit the sign in option, so this can add a new voter. A list over there and you can check the list of the voters okay so all the all the voters list requests are displayed here to this officer now here in my private window another window i'm going to log in as a voter okay so newly i have registered with this user this is a voter user so i'm going to just going to log in with this and when i hit the login what i can see i can see two options so this user is logged in after registration and after that you can uh board uh, like um, voter application form so it can apply for the form to generate a voter id okay so here what i need to enter the automatically some details uh, we are fetching over there from the session and here in the logo what we need to enter we need to enter the documentation like other card it can be other card or some other documentation but i'm just adding a dummy image over there so i, I add this image <coughs> i click the add so voter edit success application edit successfully now when i go to the list it will say voter id is a na currently this user doesn't have any voter id because the request is sent it to the uh, officers now if i go here in the official window and i click here the new request will be displayed to the under voter application list to this officer account and when i click on the generate uh, voter id so it will generate an id okay uh, it can be like this so it's it's generated a voter id so now this is the voter ID by using this voter ID that person that voter can vote okay so I just come here when I check my voter application list I can see the voter ID over here so now I can use it to vote okay so how can I vote so another option here I can see the election list so whatever the conducted election the list will be displayed over here from here I can check the candidates so let's suppose I am going to vote for this. Okay, so this is the like 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 this is the this is the, like under this application under the this election list. These are the elections, and we have some candidates. So here we have these candidates, and let's suppose I want to vote for uh, this candidate that is newly coming over here. So I just click on the vote, and here I need to enter that voter ID. Okay, here we have many validations over there. Let's understand that. This is the valid voter ID. So it will allow thanks for the vote for your candidate. And when I click again, it will say vote is already exists because you can't give a duplicate vote. It, in case if I enter a random number that is not my voter ID, then also it will say voter ID not exist. Okay, so this is a valid form. And again, here we have option to view the results. So when I click on the view for this particular election, like if we have election list on so this election list, so I can say these are the candidate members and these are the voters total votes two two when uh, we have just uh, passed one vote to this person so um, we can select uh, we, we can view the results from here so for the voter we have election list view view candidate and all the functionalities almost all the there and again log out uh, my profile will be also there and that's it and again we have a tables like candidate election party users vote and application voter applications and also okay i think it's done so uh, in case you need the source code you can connect us over the whatsapp skype or 
mail and the after configuration of the project will work same as those in this demo and thank you for watching